Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinos, it is King Nido here and welcome to our first annual Legends game where the legendary beasts will be going head to head against the Swords of Justice in this 6 on 6 double battle where it is all for pride in this exhibition matchup. So let us know in the comments below who you think will win, will it be the legendary beasts or will it be the Swords of Justice? Let's send it down. But to make up those six sided teams, it will be the Paradox Pokemon with Iron Crown and Iron Leaves coming out for the Swords of Justice. It's Gouging Fire and Suicune starting out for the Legendary Beast as Iron Leaves immediately goes with the Cotton Spore to slow down those Legendary Beasts greatly. So Suicune and Gouging Fire already having their speed stats lowered as Iron Crown follows it up by laying the Smackdown onto Suicune, which Suicune is actually able to tank. And we get the Dragon Hammer now from Gouging Fire onto Iron Crown. Gets a good hit for a not very effective move, and Suicune does look to follow it up by setting up the ingrain. So already it's going to plant those roots nice and early in this matchup, and that can be a really good play as it is going to restore a little bit of health in between every turn. And it will be Iron Leaves, so responding with the Psycho Cut and getting a great hit there onto Suicune. Iron Crown follows it up with the Seed Flare. This will be super effective, and Suicune is taken out of the match already. They knew that that ingrain could be a huge detriment to their chances as Gouging Fire with the spit up unfortunately that is going to fail it hasn't gone for a stock pile and it will be Raikou coming out onto the side of the legendary base and immediately with that speed advantage goes for the psychic noise on Iron Leaves which is not very effective but it will prevent Iron Leaves from being able to heal for a number of turns so Iron Leaves does look to respond with the withdraw so it is going to boost that physical defense now it is much more of a physically offensive Pokemon but it is Iron Crown with the tail whip now it is going to lower those defenses of both Gouging Fire and Raikou and Gouging Fire does have 121 base defenses it goes with the Roy it wants nothing to do with Iron Crown it is going to send Iron Crown back to the bench now in its place is Terrakion being dragged out onto the field here and Raikou does look to follow it up with the Giga Impact does seem to go for Iron Leaves with that move doesn't get that much damage in there Though as Terrakion goes for its first move of the matchup with the blue flare on the Gouging Fire, which is not very effective. Gouging Fire absolutely tanks that move. And it will be the Spatial Rend follow-up though from Iron Leagues, which is super effective on the part. Dragon type Gouging Fire taking massive damage there as it is going to go for the Sleep Powder. But it goes for Iron Leaves, who is immune to it due to its grass typing. And Iron Leaves is no longer prevented from healing as Raikou has to recharge this allows Terrakion to go with the tea time so everyone is going to chow down on their leopard berries getting a PP boost here and if you are enjoying what you're seeing here whilst they're chowing down please leave a like share subscribe help the poker type league grow for many seasons to come as we get ever closer to our first champions game on Pokemon day now as Gyaojin Fire does finish chowing down, the Legendary Beasts need to get a quick elimination, but first it will be Iron Leaves with the Mac Punch. Speaking of quick, right there connecting with Raikou, Gyaojin Fire responds with the Body Slam. Though, onto Iron Leaves, gets an okay hit there, and Raikou looks to follow it up by riding that Surf. And that is super effective on Terrakion. It's is prevented from being super effective on Gouging Fire thanks to its dragon typing, but we get the Poison Gas in response from Terrakion that is going to leave both Raikou and Gouging Fire with that poison status condition, so it is going to be chipping away at their health, and Gadget Fire does not have much to work with as it is already in knockout range. And Iron Leaves could actually capitalize here as it goes with the Hyper Voice, hitting both Gadget Fire and Raikou. Doesn't get the elimination, but Gadget Fire goes for the nasty plot, which is practically irrelevant because it will not benefit from this special attack boost because that poisoning is going to eliminate it as Raikou feels the effects of it first. But there is Gadget Fire being taken out of this match as the Swords of Justice. Look to be in full control here in this exhibition game. And it's Raging Bolt coming out to join Raikou as Raikou does go with the Absorb. Another good hit there on a Terrakion with those super effective connections. Raikou getting some health restored. And look at Raging Bolt. You do not want to receive a headbutt from that Pokemon. The velocity that would come with that is the Infestation on the Raging Bolt. Does not do much damage there from Terrakion, but it will be afflicted by that Infestation. And now we get the Psycho Boost from Iron Leaves, and Raikou is eliminated. Iron Leaves does lower its special attack to do so, but a fantastic connection. The Legendary Beasts have already lost three Pokemon as Raging Bolt goes for the slack off, and now is not the time to be slacking off. Even though you've already taken some damage, it's barely any, as it does feel the effects of that infestation. And now out comes Entei for the Legendary Beast, but Terrakion with the speed advantage goes with the ally switch. It is going to change places 
with iron leaves as the swords of justice are still at full capacity. And a massive endeavor from Iron Leaves puts Raging Bolt in knockout range as the stomp onto Terrakion puts that in knockout range by Entei there. Raging Bolt looking to follow up goes with the Aqua Step and Terrakion is eliminated with that super effective move. It will not be a clean sweep here as Raging Bolt does get the speed boost as well and we know the Iron Crown will be the one coming back out onto the field but Raging Bolt is now the quickest on the field immediately meeting it with the Bubble Beam here. Gets a good hit there onto Iron Crown but Iron Leaves responds with the Body Slam onto Entei. Entei gets a really good connection and Entei is left with that paralysis status condition so it's going to slow it down but it might also make it unable to move and this allows Iron Crown to go with the Aerial Ace onto Entei and Entei is unable to move due to its paralysis which means Raging Bolt's going to have to do all the work at the moment and it goes with the Terrain Pulse onto Iron Crown. This won't be very effective due to that part Steel Typing and Iron Leaves is going to go for the Gastro Acid looking to suppress that ability of Entei here on the field. Iron Crown is going to go and cause the uproar as well putting Entei into knockout range. This is dispelling terrible news for the Legendary Beast in this Legends match as the slam onto Iron Crown is not very effective from Entei as it was able to shake off that paralysis and the Doom Desire is being set up here by Raging Bolt. It is choosing Doom as its destiny for Iron Crown, but Iron Leaves with the active pressure looking to help out its teammate is going to give a boost in that special attack of Iron Crown, who continues to go for the up forward, taking Raging Bolt out of this matchup. This is terrible as the Swords of Justice full control the Frost Breath from Entei on to Iron Crown, does put it in knockout range, but it's not very effective, Iron Crown is still in this matchup, even after what is a critical hit, Iron Crown continues to cause this uproar, and it is Walking Wake as the last Pokemon for the Legendary Beast, and it immediately goes with the Infestation, super effective, Iron Leaves is taken out of the matchup, but they need to get rid of Iron Crown as well, who continues to cause this uproar. And with that third uproar, it takes Entei out of the match, Walking Wake is all by itself, it has four... Pokemon on the side of the Swords of Justice to contend with, and it is Cabalion coming out for the Swords of Justice as Walking Wake wants none of it. It goes with the Misty Explosion. I mean, it should have gone for a move that connected with both Iron Crown and Cabalion, but not one that eliminated itself. It gives the victory to the Swords of Justice in this Legends matchup. Thank you for watching this Nidorinos and Nidorinos. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe as we get ever closer to our Champions game. But always remember, you are awesome, and I'll see you when you see me.